you guys just can't seem to get enough of this Cheeto Warframe Loki color scheme, can't you? <laughs> well, don't worry. I'm back. And the Cheeto meme is alive. How's it going, guys? My name is MCIK, or my cat is Kyo, and welcome, everyone, back to another video. Today, we're going to be duking that... Duking? Oh, my God. Today, we're going to be looking at the, the next installment of this amazing series I'm doing. Top 5. Wow. Good times. Fun stuff. Now, honestly, I didn't get a lot of requests to do this one, but I still wanted to do it because it sort of like wraps up the whole top five series that I've been doing in the last couple videos that I've been doing that you guys have been really enjoying. Like, I'm surprised the support I got on all those videos. Tons of comments, a crap load of views. I don't think I was going to get that many views. Anyway, yeah, I just want to say thank you for all the support that I got on those videos. It was really cool just to go through all the comments and, you know, see what you guys thought of my builds and my warframes primaries melees all that good stuff so today we're going to be taking a look on my secondaries my top five secondaries that i love to use i know i know i know i know i know <sighs> no face cam i'm sorry it's very late and i i should make an excuse because i said in the last video when i was going to the barrel keys trader i said i would do face cam in the next video i'm sorry it's been a busy uh, it's been a busy week and this next week just started, and it's already getting kind of hectic. But the 10K feline video is out, and I'm ex I'm happy about that. So that should take some pressure off of me to, you know, just kind of relax and get back and do my nice schedule, my one video a day. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. But, yeah, no face cam today. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. My top five favorite secondary weapons. Let's do this. Of course, as I always say... All of the builds will be featured in this video as well. Just a little quick overview of the builds. And keep in mind, these are my personal builds, okay? I've seen some comments of people saying, Cole, you should change this out for this and this and this. I appreciate the comments. Those are actually really nice. And I'm, I take those into consideration sometimes. I actually am like, hey, maybe he's right. Maybe I should try this. But for the most part, I, I just have a really weird way of building things. So just remember that when, you, when I, while I'm uh, continuing on with this video. I have a wacky way of, of building, but it fits for my playstyle. So keep that in mind. It is uh, fit for my playstyle. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. Coming in number five, we have the Dex Furious. These, I've had these actually, these have probably been my, my very first secondary weapon. I wasn't actually sure when I created, when I started playing this game, how to, <laughs> it's sad, but I didn't know how to make weapons. I don't know, I had to go, you actually had to go to the planets and make resources and gather resources to build said weapons. So whenever Warframe was out for a whole year, they gave all their players these. I'm just like, oh my god, finally get to stop using the Lato. Yes. <laughs> and uh, ever since then, they have been fantastic. And I think they've actually might have been increased with damage. But yeah, they do great damage. And I could definitely work on the build. This is what I got so far. I'm definitely going to form it maybe two times. But uh, this is what I got going on so far. I got some sort of sharpened bullets build going on there. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what I was doing there. But nonetheless, not really for end game material just yet. But they're still very fun to use for an automatic weapon. That I would, you know, if you're just in the mood to spray and pray, then this is definitely uh, what I go for. At number four, we have the Haiku Prime or the Hiku Prime, and this definitely surprised me. It's a insanely huge upgrade from the original Haiku. Uh, it does a lot more damage, as you guys know, obviously. It does so much damage, and it's fun for Corrosive build. I actually have it set for a Corrosive build for the Void, and it just shreds and tears and just just demolishes enemies in my path. Uh, of course, scaling into later game, it starts to drop off damage. Just That's just simply because I don't have any form on this build yet. I think when I get some form on the build, it'll do a lot better. Maybe you replace some of these you know, stat mods with you know, pure damage mods, like, or pure high element damage mods, you know, 90% and then 90% fire. These are only 60%, so, yeah. When I get some farm on this, you know, like, I'll get rid of this and stuff, but for now, it's not bad. It's not a terrible build. It's, it definitely kills level 40s and 50s pretty easily, and yeah, it's also, also really fun to use because it sprays like a motherfucker. At number three, we have the Rockta Ballistica. This is the very first weapon, of course, that I got from any syndicate at all, and it was actually a really good weapon. They actually increased it quite a bit, though, after they released it. It was a little bit weak, so they definitely increased the damage by quite a bit, and I think I have a separate build? I'm not 100% sure. I think this is a magnetic build, but of course, if you guys want to copy the build, you're more than welcome to for a magnetic build, but I think all you really got to do to change this is just change these top mods up here. 
And like I said, it could use a little bit of form. See how this is a D polarity here. I'm not really using the D. <clears throat> Don't quote me on that. It comes with a V though, so it's not terrible. But it definitely needs some work. But still, it does good damage, and the charge on this thing is very nice. And if I ever go stealthing with Loki, or in this case Cheeto, then definitely one of the weapons that I bring is this one, the Rock the Ballistica. Okay, as we summit closer to number one, honestly it was a hard pick between the two to choose between the number one, but for the number two, it's definitely going to have to be the Coal Star. In this case, the Coal Star. <laughs> no? Anyone? Oh god, kill me. Anyway, the Coal Star is one of my probably one of my favorite weapons in the game at the moment. This is not even just this is not even just taken in the category of secondaries. It's just an awesome weapon. It's very powerful. You gotta be careful when you use it though, because it can kill yourself. You can kill yourself with it. But it does pack a heavy blow. And this is ouch. This is actually with only one forma. You can just tell I've actually been trying to like, invest time in this. I don't get on Warframe a lot to level stuff up, but I really wanted to level this up and get a forma, maybe two more on it, get three, or just two forma. I don't know. I got a D here and a V here. I'm thinking of putting another V here, or keeping the D and putting a V here, or something like a slash to put LM mods on. It's definitely worth the forma. It does a ton of damage, and it spreads a far range it, it you know it kills a large amount of enemies in a large amount of, you know, of area basically uh it's great and good crowd control basically it has good aoe you know uh, it can damage things pretty far out but like i said you gotta be careful because you can damage yourself so yeah use with caution the number one yes of course is still rocking it and that is the vacor marilock this is my bay this is my boo this is my this is my, I don't know, this thing is amazing. I love this thing. This is the second ever syndicate weapon that I got. And honestly, it doesn't, still doesn't disappoint me. It does, oh man, I love the status of this weapon. It's so much fun to use. The status proc is amazing. I think it actually goes up to 100%. Look at that, status is 100%. Corrosive damage and blast damage. This is a really bad build. In fact, I should really get around to form this weapon. But it just still does so much damage. You can, I can one-hit level, you know, enemies in sorties, like on the third sortie. I, if I, you know, of course, I get the headshot, of course. But this thing does a lot of damage, and it's fun to use. And you know, it's not, it's not automatic. It's nothing special. It's not, you know, and it's still a sidearm. It's not an actual primary. But in my opinion, this sidearm definitely beats some primaries damage wise and uh, you know accuracy so you know not all I guess you could say secondaries are created equal you know anyway guys that is going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed and you now have a better understanding of what I like to play with in Warframe and how I kind of play my you know my play style and all that, all that good stuff but anyway, thank you so much for watching the video once again. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to Edge on the Feline Pack. And uh, share with a friend. If you guys thought these builds were good, share with a friend. And, you know, just spread the word. Tell if people you think actually it's a good... It's probably a bad build. But if you think it's a decent build, share with a friend. Tell them to check it out. And, uh, yeah. Feel free to use them. You, this is, you know, just have fun. Anyway, guys. Leave a comment for another video you guys are going to do in Warframe and maybe a tutorial and I'll see what I can do because uh, we haven't done a tutorial this week. Last one we did was Berserker, so um, I'm open for suggestions. Anyway, thank you guys for watching again. Have an amazing day. I'll see you guys all for tomorrow's video. Stay sexy, stay safe, and peace out.